Hello, Bruce here from Panasonic, and this is how to do a thing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and manage apps onto your Fire OS Panasonic TV. Let's get started. First of all, grab your remote control and go to the home screen. Inside here at the top of the ribbon, you'll find that you've got a range of different apps. It should look more or less like this from when you first set up your TV, but if you don't have subscriptions to things like Amazon Music or you don't want to use the internet built into it and you want to change and customize this to your favorite apps, then go across to the right and go to the apps option. Inside here it will bring up all the apps that are downloaded onto your TV. Now what's really cool about this is your apps ribbon is always at the top and then down here these are the apps that you've downloaded onto your TV. If you want to add something like, say, Masterclass to that top ribbon, press the three lines button, or the options button, and then select Move to Front. Now you can do this with as many apps as you like. So if I like Spotify, select Move to Front. Maybe I want to have, uh, this is a New Zealand specific app, three now, Move to Front, and then probably Neon, Move to Front, and then let's go with, Netflix, move to front. There's already a button for Netflix, so I won't have that there, but there's no button for Apple TV, so I'll put Apple TV, move to front. Now, when you press the options button, once you've worked out sort of what apps you want in that front space, you can also move them around as well. So if I wanted to move Apple TV to over here, select it, and then to there. Anytime you want to use the options, you just press the three lines and move it around. Cool, I'm happy with that. Go back. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to search and download apps onto your TV. There are two ways you can do this. So first, let's start with the traditional way. Press the apps button on your remote control and it should bring up this screen with your apps and games. If you wanna add more apps, go to the app library and then you've got a whole bunch of different options in here. Featured, um, which will bring up apps that we think you might like or that Fire TV things you might like. There's games inside here, and there's actually quite a lot of games. This is potentially really good for kids, or really bad for kids, depending on how much your kids love games. Oh wow, is that Jackbox? Yes! So good. Okay, cool. So you've got games, you've got all categories, or you can go and search specifically. So let's search for an app now. I'm gonna search for a video calling app. Now here's a top tip. You can, when you're in this menu, Use Alexa at this point to search for an app, or you can just use it from the main app screen. So we'll search for it first by pressing and holding and searching for basketball apps. All right, so now we've got apps that are more or less related to basketball. You've got the NBA, you've got the WNBA, ESPN, whatever that is, and then what looks to be like a couple of games. So that's a nice easy way to search for apps. You can actually also skip this step by going through all the apps and just from the home screen, just search for the app that you're after. So here we are at the home screen. Now I'm just gonna search for it. Find me basketball apps. Look, there you go. And now it comes up with pretty much exactly the same apps. So the easy way is to just search for an app by pressing Alexa or telling Alexa to do it. Or you can go through the menu system, apps, search for the app library, and then search for apps manually. Either way will work, and generally will get you the same result, depending on the app you're after. So that's how you manage your apps and search for new ones. You can also move apps around within that main apps menu after pressing the app button. So if I liked lots of sporting apps, I could move that to somewhere like there on the top, press there to save, and then I can do that with whatever other apps I've got as well. So when you press the apps button, this is the screen that you get, uh, making it nice and easy to have everything. And then of course your shortcuts to your favorite applications can be at the top. Perfect. And that's how you search and manage your apps on your Panasonic Fire OS TV. I hope you found this video useful. If you are looking for more information, do check us out at panasonic.com or check out some of our other how-to videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next time.